Hi, this is Todd Ale. I'm a violin teacher and I'd like to at this point talk about holding the violin and finger action. Uh, I'm sitting down right now so and you wouldn't be able to see my feet anyway but I will tell you that when I have a, a youngster or a student who I am not happy with their, their posture or position I'll often start with the feet. I'll ask them to put them together uh, like this feet are together and I'll ask them to make a letter V with the feet and stand with the feet under the shoulders, rock side to side to get their balance. I know it's a common Suzuki approach to put the left foot in front of the right. Uh, I studied once with a fellow named Craig Timmerman, fine Suzuki teacher, but he said to me, I've never seen a great artist do that. And I think he's correct. I, I am more comfortable myself with my feet under my shoulders and that's what I teach. Uh, you can do it however you like, just know that if you look at most of the great artists, they typically have their feet under the shoulders. They'll rock side to side to get balance. Now, whether you're seated or standing, if you're in a chair, it probably should have no arms so you don't run into it. I want the button, that's this piece of wood here, the tail gut attaches to that. I want that to go up against your neck. I don't use a shoulder rest, I set that right on my collarbone. If you use a shoulder rest, that's fine. The most important thing is not whether you use a shoulder rest or not, a sponge is fine. It is the space here needs to fill this accurately. So you do not have to raise your shoulder or drop your head or contort or put any tension here. I set this button against the neck on my collarbone. Then I take my head and I turn it to the left and I drop my jaw in the chin rest. Do not put my chin in the chin rest, just the jaw. So that my posture will be very straight. Try not to have your head lean to any severe angles. Then your left elbow needs to be over that left foot that we just talked about. Okay? And the scroll is going in the same direction as your left foot. So you line everything up, left foot, left elbow, scroll and almost your nose. The next thing I will teach is at a very young student I'll have them curve the fingers up and then set them on the black lines they're called purfling to teach finger angles nice and flat on top okay after that I'll have them make a letter V with their thumb and their first finger see the letter V? not too wide not too narrow turn it around and that will just come up to the instrument and support it. You should be able to slide your hand. Some teachers will actually ask you to rock, rotate your thumb to the side instead of being here. I actually feel a shelf. There's a bone that you can push on right there. I feel that as a shelf. If you notice, my thumb actually extends backwards. It makes this easier.